Good Vito's new coach, Derek Lunsford 2.0 is 315 pounds. Mark Bell gets his channel unbanned, plus much more. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another bodybuilding news video. And stick around to the end of this video as well, because I have a very, very special guest that's upcoming as well. You will not want to miss it, and you can find out at the end of this video. But let's get into it, and let's start with the news of Mark Bell's Power Project YouTube channel being unbanned, which is nearly unheard of. I think I've heard of one channel maybe ever being unbanned from YouTube, and I can't even remember which channel it was, but they've spoken out about it on their podcast, which is now back up on YouTube, and here's what they had to say on the Mark Bell Power Project. Deleted it <laughs> without giving us a warning or telling us what it was. The way we found out what it was was because there was a fan of the show, Jorge, who he saw the, the, the channel was gone. He DM'd all of us, mm -hmm. and then we were able to get in contact with him, and he told us, this is why your show was gone. It's because there was a link on another show. If we didn't have someone like that, our channel wouldn't be here. And that's fucked up because there's probably so many people mm -hmm. that have their channels deleted mm -hmm. and are still like, wait, I don't know what I did. Yeah, they don't have somebody on the inside that can help them mm -hmm. uh, figure it out. Now, I feel their pain 100% and it was actually worrying me seeing that their channel was deleted because it has 300 and however many thousand subscribers. Mark Bell's obviously a, you know, a pretty well-known guy. Obviously, his brother being the director or creator, the producer. Uh, probably playing all of those roles in Bigger, Stronger, Faster. And I believe he's actually bringing out another documentary soon. But Mark's incredibly popular. Tom Segura was even on their channel and a whole bunch of other big names as well. So I'm glad to see him get his channel back. But they lost their channel because of a link that could be leading to Psalms or any other sort of stuff that is sort of questionable by YouTube. So these are videos from years ago from sponsors that they had previously had. So obviously bringing in new regulations on YouTube, it's very hard to go back through a thousand plus videos, which they have on my YouTube channel and actually figure out what is the thing that got their channel banned. But anyway, glad to see Mark Bell's Proud Project back up on YouTube. Now, good veto, Vitaly Yugolnikov. We have some updates from him, and he has a new coach, and we'll get to that in just a moment. These are the latest updates where I've got to say he's looking pretty damn impressive in these ones. I will say the side tricep, the way he is doing that, is straight up horrendous. It makes his physique look so much more unflattering and unesthetic because just he looks so thick around the midsection. He should never do it with that back leg back like that or very heavily revise that but taking that away he looks pretty damn good and you can see there the front double bicep that's what we saw down at the beach and we saw in that his waist wasn't really poking out at all uh, in any of those beach videos or photos and this is his new coach it says day one working with good veto i'm really excited about this work we're doing with the real technician so he does have a new coach, and I did see this new coach. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Because Chris, the technician, Aceto, is his coach, was his coach, still is his coach, and they're working together. So this is just on the training side of things for good veto. And this is a guy that actually previously, I believe, trained Raphael Brandau, and I believe he's not training him anymore. But very excited to see what happens with good veto. And let me know in the comments where you think he'll place this year. Will he qualify for the Mr. Olympia? Will he place top 10 if he actually makes it there? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And now moving on to Keon Pearson, Mr. Olympia champion, signing a new deal with Yamamoto Nutrition. It says new beginnings, history in the making, and then tags in Patrick Tour. And another interesting thing as well, because I've seen some other videos and people suggesting, hey, you going to open? When are you going to open? Because Keon said his ultimate goal, no matter what, is to go to the open division. But one of the hashtags there, it says hashtag and still, and then it push ha puts hashtag 212 Mr. O. And if you guys are bodybuilding fans and watch the Mr. Olympia, when the Mr. Olympia champion is announced, if they won the year prior, Bob Chigarello and the microphone will always say, and still, Mr. So... 
basically is confirmed that Keon Pearson will go back to the 212s this year. My prediction is that he'll go to 212s this year, either win it or lose it. And no matter what, I believe he'll move to open in 2025. But let me know your predictions on that in the comments below. And you can see obviously his latest physique updates, both from the past week as well, looking very damn impressive. And that's what sort of led to speculation that Keon may be going to the open as early as this year. Now I've seen this update posted up from Nathan Diasha, and I was a little bit surprised to see this. I know he's been working away, working hard, and he's looking big, but I've never seen Nathan strip down like this in his off-season, from what I can remember, at least anyway, full-body physique update, because he normally gets a little bit more fluffy than this in terms of just putting on a little bit extra body fat. But this physique update really, really, really impressed me. He says 295 pounds, 5 foot 7 and a half inches. Uh, and he says... Uh, then he says about the right height. Then he says time to push for a few months. Boss says still small, haha. Then puts at boss of Outlaw, which is Stefan, which is his coach, which is uh, Urs Kalachinsky's coach, Martin Fitzwater's coach, Wesley Viss's coach. This guy is making a huge impact. But I'm really impressed with this level of conditioning from Nathan in the offseason. If he, this is his starting point, we've seen him start small ish, relative. Nathan Diasha before and if this is his starting point I am very very excited for Nathan in 2024 and he's given it by the sounds of it at least a few years or an extra year or whatever however long he competes but he's given it a real push so I'm excited for that now another guy who's been on my podcast actually with Nathan Diasha there's some great episodes because these both these guys are incredibly entertaining and that's Sergio Oliva Jr. out there in Spain with Dorian Yates absolutely killing it Sergio's been squatting, doing higher reps, squatting at the end of his workout, absolutely killing himself under the guidance of Dorian Yates, which is so next level in terms of just the history of the sport. You can see Sergio here being held up on stage by Sergio Oliva Sr., which is his father, which is obviously Olympia champion. Not all that long before Dorian Yates was winning Mr. Olympia titles, where Dorian won six. And Dorian's, I think, has wanted to train someone to go to the Mr. Olympia. I know that he trained Chris Cormier back in the day and Chris Cormier was actually getting ready to go out and train with Dorian when he actually injured himself and actually went into a coma. But imagine how amazing it would be if Dorian just unlocked something in Sergio where he can be doing really well at the Mr. Olympia because we haven't seen that from Sergio. He's had trouble getting to the Olympia while he's had some really good placings at the Arnold Classic. He has won contests, but I think everyone wants to see Sergio leave at Junior up there killing it and it's so cool and i've suggested as well in the comments of uh some of these videos that these guys should do a blood and guts 2.0 because that's the famous uh video vhs i guess from back in the day that dorian yates had which was just black and white just the training his training partner been like come on yates let's go and everyone just loved that so i think we'd love to see a 2.0 version of that on youtube some sort of series or something do it all in black and white Dorian yelling at Sergio. I think everyone would love to see it. And this is like, you know, epic moments in bodybuilding history, I think, with Dorian Yates training Sergio out there in Spain. Our next update comes from Derek Lunsford 2.0. At least this is what I've classed this guy as. Leandro Perez from Brazil looking absolutely enormous. 143 kilograms in his offseason. This guy competed sort of late-ish last year. And it says here, posted up by this page, I'm not going to try to read out their IG handle, but it says, Leandro Perez Pro is huge with 143 kilograms in off-season. Leandro is scary this season. Uh, he's he's betting on a gross off-season and came in at 143 kilograms with good quality. Now, that is a translated version, I believe, from Portuguese. So, excuse for saying the, he's hoping for a gross off-season. I'm sure that's not exactly how it translates. But he's looking very, very impressive. And you can see some stage shots from last year where he looked really good. Conditioning was there. I just think that he needs a few more pounds. But he's very reminiscent in terms of his insertions, his structure, his shape to Derek Lunsford. I think he might be a little bit taller. If he's 315 pounds, I'm sure he's actually a little bit taller than Derek Lunsford. So this is a guy for the future. So keep an eye out for him. And some of the comments on this post as well that I saw go up, a uh, pretty hilarious um, <laughs> translated, as you guys can see uh, on the screen right there, especially the one with the blue tick. Now, I do have a very special guest coming up 
on desktop bodybuilding for a one-on-one -on -one interview. And that is your 2023 Mr. Olympia, Derek Lunsford. Comment, like this video, and if you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and click the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for myself, Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out.